What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian slash Holy Roman Empire playthrough and let's get straight into it. So we just started a war with this guy here, I noticed here I was searching for a rank 3 discipline advisor which we finally got, thank goodness, don't have to keep rolling that each time. Um, also, it's about time here, I found a faction, a rebel faction which by the way we do have some growth of rebels this guy here costs 45 five less due to our um, golden era but um yeah as our religious unity improves we should be able to get a little bit cheeky more absolutism uh legitimacy is capped let's not bolts that up again you dumbass monk uh and hoping that our heir has you know 100 percent legitimacy strength to his claim but um, yes, we just began a war, but I plan to declare a war here as well sometime throughout this month. And a lot of a lot of waiting and a lot of tedious stuff, quite frankly, guys. A lot of tedious stuff, but that's what we do at the moment. Alrighty, so some of these have, yeah, the convert modifier thing, blah 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 on them. Let's stabilize this region still in uh, the Philippines. There's not that much long to go here. Only a few provinces which are actually quite quick to convert. And then I'm going to be focusing big time on Madagascar because I don't ever really want to go out there again, you know, if it can be avoided. We're also, of course, fighting France, and also, of course, fighting rebels as well. All day, every day, fighting the rebels. That guy's not going to progress there. Neither is he there. That feels really bad, actually. As a wise man once said, Why, why you no know, dupe? Why you no do? Um, not sure where little, the little cheeky Frenchmen have gone. Alrighty. Can we declare a war? No? What the hell? Um, missionaries. Commence the converto. Al converto. Oh, eventually, there we go. Gonna be able to declare this war. How much, uh, he's got a puny, a puny little face on him. This guy has got nothing more than a tiny little puny face. And, uh, saving up here to tick up to 27 to equalize it between Ming and myself. We did do some calculations. Theoretically, we are much more powerful in terms of numbers here. Uh, but also, um, our units will actually be more powerful as well, thankfully. Now let's have a look here. Whoa, look at that. Our influence in Gaul went from like 4% to more like uh, almost 50%. That's going to benefit our trade in the long run, I'm sure. As m now 35 ducats coming into here. Um, geez, actually less influence than I would like in the Gulf of Aden. What's up with that? Who's, who's pulling from here? I mean, this is going to help us annexing this guy for sure, but... You would think we would actually have more than that. So how many nations are here? Bah bah Bachmanis, Great Britain. Maybe Great Britain's pulling it up this way. I don't know. Or he's not doing anything at all. This guy's actually the leader though. So we're about to take him out. And uh, that's going to greatly benefit our uh, trade actually. Cool. Good to see. Some economic improvement. Oh, damn it, I'm using the wrong bloody navy. Tav one must be down in in Madagascar. Just talking about how, how much trade we're pulling out as I uh, butcher it there. This guy, okay, he is going to pick up some dudes. And we've got a guy in Madagascar, which we will take elsewhere. And we're going to be able to, yeah, delete these forts. That's something I could have done a while ago. Actually, 
as this region is all Catholic now. Sweet. Gonna go clean these up from Norway. And the French War, I'm taking my sweet time with them because they're really helping us stabilize stuff. Poor New Hungary. It's been a little bit ravaged. Now I do have a Diplo slot open guys, but we're actually going to gain some subjects, unfortunately, from uh, the French. He, he has uh, some subjects, some blatant vassals, I think. And um, if we fully annex him, we're going to inherit whatever subjects he has. Alrighty, let's also take uh, the manpower modifier here from the Pope. 15% increased manpower modifier. Um, that's a lot. That's thousands. Be interesting to see uh, as we uh, switch over more and more to uh, mercenaries. It'll be interesting to see if that ever actually like sort of uh, gets into a, a good situation. I, I don't know our manpower situation. I highly doubt it. I have my doubts that we will ever see what manpower looks like again now these guys here um i'm going to try to sort out their composition and send them out towards asia because the big battle here guys is is coming along soon the big battle with ming now this guy is actually fully annexable now having taken that last admin efficiency and increased our absolutism so let's see how much of extinction we would get for the full annex i suggest it would be over 100 Yep, it's over 100, but we do have the option to, wait, hang on a second, of course, last episode guys, I said that we could not fully annex Great Britain, but that doesn't count the 25% here, obviously, with the Imperialism CB, that was pretty derpy, I don't know where my mind is at sometimes, I play this game like just sitting out here zombifying out in front of it and it just becomes so dumb. Um, thankfully, because that was stressing me out, we can take the British out in one single war by the looks of things. Uh, we will be overextended massively. But, you know, that's good news. One war with the British. Yeah, I'm considering I've got an army here. I'm going to focus on Kilwa first, or Kilwa, um, Madagascar first. Let's just go from the north to the south, I suppose. But after completely stabilizing that or converting it, we're going to probably focus on Japan. Oh, no. No. Scandinavia! We've got a navy nearby, thank goodness. Why do you do this to me, Scandinavia? Now, I could look for all the French islands and so on, guys. That's something we we got to make sure. I don't think that they have any islands, really, because we mostly took them. Like, I remember taking the Falklands from them, for example. Uh, but they obviously will have some colonies. I think... We're pretty good. I, I'm not going to be fully annexing them this episode, so I'm not going to waste too much time looking around. But I, I think it's almost entirely just their little area in France and then the actual colonies that they have, which I think are mostly actually uh, up here. Well, hang on. This is all French Canada. They colonized that pretty quickly. I don't know. I'll have a look around. It's it's harder for me to actually eyeball it, I find, with their... um. Revolutionary French colors. Dude, this guy needs to get killed as well. Still quite some natives around, surprisingly. Surprisingly. How do they do this? How do they survive? How's our war exhaustion looking? Oh, it's actually going up. It shouldn't be. Should not be going up. Oh, 
this attrition is not helping our war exhaustion, that's for sure. We need this navy out here to allow us to walk across the strait. Sweet. We took out his capital pretty quickly here. Let's take out his uh, stack and then... What is his tech? He's one behind us. Let's make sure we have a general here. We just got an additional promoted culture from trading in silk. Could do that. Could do that. I, I feel like we're going to begin as I make more and more subjects here to actually value our Diplo points more than I had really anticipated. And uh, that is a decent way though to just, that's 6%, 6%, 6%, we could uh, accept those, but yeah. Like I said, going to be using it to convert some fools. Okay, we got to sort out our overextension some more before we take these uh, peace deals. The British, unfortunately, do have some forts around like that one, Fort Level H, which is a uh, painful one. We will have to uh, take in order to. And next, this fall. The British. If we're going for the full annexation. Thank goodness that used the correct automatic transfer there. Making my life easy. Yeah, we're gaining one exhaustion. That doesn't seem right. Look at... It's mostly attrition. Mori separatists are doing well. Who the hell? I thought Mori was here. I thought this was here. Where where are you guys? That's stressing me out. Where are the Mori separatists going on? It's the Japanese. Somehow I just... Okay, we actually own the street so I can walk across there even with no navy. Good. That can be resolved easily. Uh, any other rebel factions? Norwegian we're taking care of. Sweet. Nice. We're doing well with rebel factions. Let's make sure that we have a general here to fight. Okay, we're 70%. That's going to be 60. So we're going to go around 50. So, oh, we've got plenty of stuff coring up uh, soon after. Um, going to be trying to look for the full annexation against the Japanese. Dude, are you for real just walking around the whole world? Can you die, please? Can I make a humble request that you just lay down and die, please? Why do you do this to me? What is what exactly is wrong with you? What is your problem? Oh, we got some Persian. No, my damn generals are dying. Why do you do this to me, game? We might be able to get like up to near a hundred. So, I'm at, oopsie. I'm actually not gonna keep rolling generals if I can avoid it but we've got some Persians who have unrest even in our current situation that's uh, pretty impressive they're really mad some would say that they're mad mad cuz bad some would say that some people who are really rude and obnoxious and insensitive would say that they're mad cuz bad Let's get a really good stack out of here and stop suffering this attrition. We also have some of these Strotskys or whatever they're called. Probably butchered that. Laying around. That's something to consider, guys. Is they do have, uh, I think it was like 20% more fire damage or something like that. They are laying around, uh, which is one little advantage that we also have over Ming. In terms of just raw strength. Uh, that's something that he obviously does not have. Again, kind of stalling, just dilly-dallying around there with the occupation of um, 
Perry because the sooner we take the war god, the sooner we, we will uh, gain that, that call for peace. This bloody guy. I'm trying to catch him all day. Alright. I'll just do this manually, I'm afraid to sort out the mess if I try to automatically uh, transfer. So I'm just going to do it manually. I hope none of these provinces were converted like within the last 50 years from Kilwa. I don't think they were. Got another stack out here, um, which should be able to walk straight through. There's a fort level 2. Man, I wish Ming had fort level 2s. Wow. Yeah, this guy's going to fall pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. There we go. Attrition is not killing us so badly now, thankfully. Um, this guy should give us very few overextension, right? Not much for the full annexation. Let's have a look. Well, that's 41. Certainly something. Oh man, it's going to be nice to kill that four. Big time. That's going to be, with the exception of this one province, that's going to be all of Africa. Uh, I'm going to use my columnist to just try to close this gap and over these wasteland provinces just for the looks just for the looks looks are really important obviously guy it's, it's all about that aesthetic not really nobody cares when you're a man what's going on here we don't have a, that was, um, I'm going, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I need a break after this episode. We just caught up a province. We don't have a missionary returned. You noob. Let's have a look at our extension. Still some coming along here nicely. That's right about 50%. Where is the, the old Japanese? 41%. Guadam. Guadam, get guarded. Take out. Oh no, there's another. No! <sighs> the bane of my life. I hate these little islands. Why do you have islands, I say? How rude. Um, I think. Do we have a navy in this? There. Yep. This guy's gonna be the closest. Let's go. We need to take the islands to be able to call the provinces, of course. One of those uncorable provinces is here, which we're sieging up, and the other is in uh, J Japan, which is definitely a place, trust me. That Africa, though. Wow, I still remember the days of uh, our first little colony in Africa, guys. Whew. It was a long time ago. So, do I have a... No, not really. These transports here. You guys come back around here. I'm going to sort out... I'm going to move this guy from Madagascar, sort out the composition, and then move even more over to here, nearer to Ming. And I want to come in from the north and the south. Yep. God damn it, the supply is really bad around uh, here in Russia, though. And uh, we've got 17k, 300 a month. There's no, there's no doubt that we could at least jam some mercs there, quickly get a big stack in one nice big stack. There's no doubt. But the question is, how much can we abuse that? I don't know. Hopefully a lot. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I must have misclicked on the wrong province. Alrighty, this guy's ready to give us a big chunk of land. And that's um, a tremendous amount of overextension. 
which is ready to go. Ah, <sighs> it might be worth declaring on Ming while we're fighting the other wars. Oh man. So I I'm thinking in terms of fifty. Our our forces are fifties, guys. So two forces is is ten K. <sighs> Which means eight forces is four K. So we're gonna need ten stacks. Ten stacks to outnumber him. Ten. My goodness. And even then, we'd like to outnumber him enough to be really decisive about it, if possible. Oh my, look at his emperor. Am I jelly or what? 4, 3, 1 versus 6, 5, 5. My goodness, we need our heir to come of age. Um, 10. 10 stacks. 1, 2. 3, 4. 5. Six. Yep. We're going to be American. That's what our money's for. <laughs> but we need to send more troops out there so that we're ready to kill that fool. It must be done. The first war is going to last a long time against him, unfortunately, guys. Uh, that's just how it is, you know. It's just how it is. It's going to last a long time, but I'm hoping if Operation Jack All of Ming's Forts uh, is successful then the, at least the future wars against them will be much quicker. Okay. Please. No, what is this? Ah, oh, no. I can't afford this to be the rep army tradition feels bad, man. Screw you, game. Nobody likes an event like that. What, what are you doing to me? Just lost 20 army tradition. Uh, that helps out. We were suffering from negative, um, having poor stuff here, though, guys. Speaking of which, how's our call for diet? Can we do this stuff? Yeah, we could do some of these and take some points. We're not desperately in need of any points apart from military, which I've already taken, right? I've already taken my military. Yep, 150. Uh, I, I won't add these to the training company, there's no point. We've already bloody well. We've already got the merchant there. I won't bother. I think our control is like absolute in Zanzibar at this stage anyway. But it's mostly the laziness. I didn't even read that event. You think I even care, game? You're wrong. Negatory. I think this guy we're actually going to peace out pretty soon, but the other wars that we're fighting will drag on longer. We shouldn't be getting any call for peace anytime soon. Most of these have been started fairly recently. The French was the latest one to start. Uh, okay, we got a navy coming around. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I think next episode we're going against Ming, which is... I'm um, going to be pretty intense. That war score looks way better, by the way, against Bahamnus. Bah Bahmanus. Way better. Um, under three wars now that we have, and that's without Imperialism CB. Now that we have uh, the, the admin efficiency that we have, which is very good. It's amazing how my religious unity... Like, barely even moves as we convert provinces. I find it just astounding. It's because we have so many hundreds. Ah, oh, he switched that up instantly, you stupid game. Get a life, you stupid, you stupid nerdy nerd. Life, nerd, it's mad, feels bad, man. We need a general here. That six fire general is uh, pretty swag. Make sure to use him in our battles against Ming. Okay, we are going to expect revolts out here, unfortunately, but I hopefully, hopefully, this will be the last revolts in Japan. Yep, these places are stable while we have the reaction stuff. 
So I'm hoping after, I've said it a few times already, after uh, Madagascar, let's stabilize Japan. And then probably the Horn of Africa. That's what we're going for. This isn't upkeep, right? I usually take the Diplo Tech reduced ness there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this guy's about to get stuck to stack wiper renoed. He doesn't even have a general on his stack for some reason. And I'll leave uh, this little client state to siege that up because he's not doing it too quickly. Um, there is still no Catholic provinces. These bastards. He has caught all but two provinces. He's soon has no excuse. Very similar situation here. Oh man, Holy Bros caught everything that he can. And there's no missionaries working, is there? Jeez, man. Oh, guys, this looks really bad for the one faith, guys. It looks really, really bad, quite frankly. Um, I'm still going for, like, my own personal best and, like, a one tag. I really want to achieve, even though I, I talked to you in a few episodes ago about how one faith is an achievement. I should try to focus on that, whereas one tag is not. I have for sure changed my mind. Um, I actually think one faith is pretty easy if you have some luck, if you really try hard, like, rather than picking Hungary... Um, pick a really, really try-hard nation to do it. I actually think it's pretty easy, like I've done it in the past. It is tedious, but that's another story. Um, whereas one faithing is actually harder, in my opinion. And, uh, a bit cooler. And I have not ever done it myself, or one... What, did I say one faith, or one tag? What I mean to say, if it's not perfectly clear, is I'm gonna try to one tag the world, and that might involve us, um, integrating these subjects here before... They have even, for all we know, they might not have converted anything at all. And uh, I'll feel really bad about that. But I am going to begin integrating them at some point. I want to make sure that we are at peace so that I can begin integrating them. Uh, because there's, there's actually not that much longer remaining in the game. Now, keep in mind, guys, we can look here. They're really, quite frankly, not that big. We're looking around under 300 each of them in Diplo points. Even though they're quite large due to our admin efficiency, they're not that large, if that makes sense. Uh, thankfully. It can still certainly be done by the end of the game, but, I mean, that is something that we have to be aware of. Is integrating people before the bloody game is over. In terms of speed, even if we get negative three for integrating a dude, now that we went influence ideas, we're going to have fairly good... Deploy reputation, and uh, even with the negative modifier, we just continue integrating. Who though? Who are you? Ah, yeah, we know about him. Uh, he killed a dude and is now bordering us. Interesting. He got a province somehow. Look at that little high exile up there. One province minor dude. Aha! This is where... Can I... No. Damn it. I was wondering if I uh, can get dim, get rid of the unrest here. That is where I should send a missionary. Because if we can convert it before it spawns, then uh, there will be no unrest there. Let's do it. Um, I should be... Here. Send troops over to fight Ming. We need to get this started, I say. This is quite important. Stop suffering attrition. Stand in farmlands. Delete forts in the northern regions where we are stable. As long as we're fighting France. Especially these Catholic ones. The Catholic areas are very stable. I just realized we should have good control here, yeah. When I get a missionary, uh, a merchant, it's probably worth just collecting there. Although 25% of that is not that good. Don't worry so much about it. It might be worth um, reducing our war exhaustion as well, which will 
upset our absolutism, but there we go. These colonies that we inherit as we get rid of them, our uh, economy is uh, really, really happy about that. Big smiling face on our economy, if that makes any sense at all. I don't think it does. It's 19. Ah, there's no bloody easy way to do that. I want to be able to separate mercenaries, personally, for me right now, from this tab. But we know it was 19, so that's all of them. Uh, let's go up to 22. Up to 8, and then 20. It's one too many. Another stack. Go! Destroy Ming, I say! Destroy Ming, move, move, move. We're going to be declaring on Ming here shortly, guys, which is quite frankly the only last remaining threat. Ah. <sighs> It's kind of like Iran in real life, guys. Ming is kind of like Iran in real life, and by that I mean the only last remaining nation without a central bank. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from Cuba and North Korea as well. Yeah. Except we're not bad guys in real life. I just consolidated that by mistake. God dang it. Um, these all needed to be sorted out anyway. Twenty-two. Jeez. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? It's good. It's good. It's good. That's another stack. Uh, we'll do merge these up and then get whatever is sweet. That looks like a third stack there as well. They must be sent, I say, out to fight Ming. So you, he can stay there, but you come pick some dudes up. Hopefully we will only need one stack here in the Horn of Africa. We have three colonies with two colonists. Okay, that's just say 42. So we're about to court, uh, annex this guy, finish this war here in a moment. Um, how much war score costs? Let's just really quickly, we'll be able to have a look at how much it costs to do this. Oh, wow. It's not quite a full annexation, is it? But it's just about. So we know we know that France is going to be ready to go, uh, as long as he doesn't have a fort, which I don't think he does. We will have to do the tedium, but I'm not going to do it this episode of making sure that we have every single province. And I think it's just colonists somewhere overseas. He's got he's got a province that is his and not one of his subjects. Um, I'll have a look in between episodes here. Uh, to make sure I know where that is, but let's just keep the ball moving. The Maldives, I almost forgot. Hopefully we can convert that up before a dude spawns. Uh, let's, what is the name of the rebel faction here so I know? Maldavian, okay. You, I do not enjoy you suffering attrition, my friend, because if you were not, we would be slowly regaining. Let's go to grasslands. Some uh, war exhaustion or, or whatever. Some war exhaustion or whatever. Surprisingly, our guys did a pretty good job. Uh, I think they're getting the, the same modifier, guys, when we go against France. If they had rebels, there we go, there's some Persian. 
I think they mostly disappeared because of the rock reaction bonus. Okay, this guy go to Ming. Now I think here this is the appropriate amount of cavalry and cannons. It's just that there's an awful amount of attrition being suffered. But let's put a um, good attrition general there. Yep. I'm trying to get troops in place. We got two. Some others are on the way. And I'm going to merc up. And we're going to be going in against Ming uh, eventually. Still suffering attrition here, damn it. Let's put a general on him. Uh, hoping that we can, yes, tick up, hopefully, to be on par with Ming. He might tick up ahead of us, actually, which would be pretty sad. Bad man feels bad man. But uh, what can you do? Now, this, this one had good composition, so where is a province with uh, decent supply, guys? Um... I think his capital is all right. Uh huh. That's got pretty good supply, I think. Hopefully, we're not suffering attrition in the air. Go to step instead of mountains. Yep. Uh, the attrition there is brutal, but it, it's a necessary evil, I feel like. Twenty three K money's really getting up there, which is a very good sign because that's gonna help us. God dang it, we're still suffering attrition in this province, which is just not cool. It's just not cool, dude. We might just have to keep a general on him, but I really struggle to keep track of my generals. We got generals here. That is jungle. Sit on grasslands in the meantime. And uh, the stack, keep escorting some stacks out of here. Um, this is good composition. The war shall begin. Shortly. God dang it, that is... What am I doing? Get out of here. Farmlands. Uh, I wonder, how strong is Great Britain? Can we genuinely have... No. We need two stacks to deal with them. I was wondering if we could just have the one stack here to deal with the British. Um, but those two, actually, are all that we're going to need in Europe. Let's just walk a guy out. I mean, I'm sure the the war with Ming will uh, last long enough to where we can walk all the way out there. He'll be there. Retreat there, no problem. Um, again, I just want to say, while it is on my mind, guys, I apologize to anybody who feels like I'm going really slow or anything like that. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to... I want to just kind of hurry through, quite frankly, guys. But I'm trying to uh, keep the integrity the best I can and not rush it, you know. Even though um, this wasn't the best game ever and uh it certainly could have gone better we were a little bit unlucky and we also made some mistakes involving the personal unions uh in another life this would have been a much easier game if we were not if i understood the uh, black army then it was going to disappear we spent a lot of money there when our economy was not in the best shape 
and they actually helped uh, propel us into even worse shape, unfortunately. Uh, in another life, this would have been a better game. Uh, things like that really add up, guys. We spent, like, do you guys remember, like, 80 years in a horrible financial situation, which we could have climbed out of much sooner. Uh, but, yeah, what I'm trying to say is, even though this is not the best game, and I'm, it's becoming more and more apparent that we're not going to achieve exactly what I set out to achieve, I'm trying not to let that uh, take away and allow me to, to slip. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. So we're going out to Ming. And uh, we're going to fight one big gigantic war against this bastard, which is going to take at least three wars. At least three full wars, but that of course is directly. In reality, we'll probably be attacking him and spending Diplo points that we cannot afford, because <laughs> we don't have many Diplo points. Um, this will help when our heir comes of age, or if we ever get our heir rather. Um, but let's uh, finish one of these wars here. So I think that this is a good spot to be in, in the sense that we are coring land. And... I have two large cores to set up, if that makes sense. Throughout the long war with Ming, we can be coring land, is what I'm trying to say. We can be coring land, which gives us quite some time to take the forts, and then we'll be coring those up as well. So I, I, I've done my best, guys, in that regard. And uh, believe it or not, next episode... We're going to be hiring some big, fat mercenary stacks here, spending... That's what our money is for, is to be spent. It will be interesting to see with the available mercenaries, we can easily hire... I think I think four. We could actually hire four stacks. That's going to cost a huge chunk of money. And... Uh, that at least minimizes the attrition there a bit. Um... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where our upkeep is at, but that's gonna um, we're going to come in from the south, we're going to come in from the north of Ming, and as much as I'm going to want to carpet siege them, guys, they have so many troops and uh, so much manpower that we're going to have to be pretty smart. Like, for example, sit here and here, and have stacks to reinforce. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's going to be a long war. It could just as well last, you know, eight, nine years. Um... But, like I keep trying to reiterate, uh, hopefully the future wars will be much smoother and faster than that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we do next time.